Hello humans! In this video I'm gonna show you how to make a visualizer in FL Studio like uh, Dubstep Gutter has on uh, his channel. Just like this. So uh, for this we need uh, this thing right here. Z Game Editor Visualizer. I have a little song here. I mean like a drop or something. So, we hit the Z Game Editor Visualizer. So it's gonna be on the on the master. I think you can put it anywhere, but you need a, like an input, a signal, a trigger for the effect for the visualizer. Hit the default preset. We need to add our content first. So hit add picture or add a video or anything that you like. So then you select uh, the the pictures that you want. Uh, it's gonna be a logo like. It's an S and D. If you can see it, it's on it's white on a transparent uh, background. The other one, it's just a picture of a frozen plant or something. <laughs> Left click it, and then uh, hold the control and click the other one. So you have a double selection, and you hit open. You can now. Hit this in the A uh, effect rack. You can hit a uh, where is it? Where is it? Image. Select another image. And now we select our source. So this is be the background picture. And in the second image, it's gonna be our logo. You need to make it a little smaller. So we need to add more effects, like um, a peak effect from this. Uh, or right here this one and this one so I think it's, uh, it's here this one is as you can see you cannot see the SD the logo because the stripe pick is over the logo we're gonna click this and drag it on top we're gonna change the color so the slice the slice one make it black uh, next we go to the slice two, second slice to the third slice and again we uh, increase the lightness in the fourth uh, slice you decrease all the way down the lightness for a white color I mean non color and next you turn down the saturation the fifth uh, slice it's gonna be the same so we turn all the way down the lightness and the saturation uh, we can resize it we can modify the rotation also looks uh, much cooler the bands are the actually the resolution of the of the blob you see like it has a jagged edges right here like straight edges so the more you increase the, the bands the more smooth it will be next we insert a new effect uh, click here and we add uh, audio shake uh, next thing that you want to add it's uh, another effect called handheld this effect it's not gonna be here we actually need to move only the background and not the logo as well or the blob you click here you drag it and I think it's okay now yeah it's okay so the motion we set it to extreme 2 and we modify the zoom and if we hit full screen now we'll see that no black edges are appearing the next effect it's uh, adding a new audio shake so we're gonna click on rotate so we can move it right here but it's gonna affect the stripe peaks so we need to move it one uh, more slot now it's right in place as uh, it rotates need to make sure that no black edges appear okay like this. these ones in the corners so we increase the size or what I like to do is to decrease the amount actually great effect next thing uh, is adding another audio shake and we 
change the type to opacity and what you will see is that I just think it's gonna be black so you need to invert the path first but this thing right now it's gonna darken everything like even the the logo and we don't want that what you need to do it's again moving it it's not a defined position or something so we can decrease the amount the last thing that I like to do it's add um, it's full of stars uh, effect and this is gonna be also on uh, the back of the logo and the black blob so we need to drag it uh, we can decrease the size and we can uh, change the movement to spin to the left or to the right we can decrease the opacity I mean the alpha or uh, the lightness you can add finally if you want a vignette effect in the post process section the vignette effect you need to put it at the, the last uh, so it's not been affected by the like everything like the logo and all the other effects you can increase the inner radius for a wider uh, view like this so see before after it's subtle but effective this is the final result <laughs> I hope you enjoy uh, watching this video, <laughs> it's my first video tutorial, I think it's very close to the dubstep gutter, uh, hit like, hit subscribe, share it, and uh, I'll see you later.